Hi everyone, today there are new story quests out, so I'm gonna go figure out what's going on. I have Jojo shirt on, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put the Jojo bows on too. I feel like it's been a long time since we've had main quests, but I can't even keep track anymore, so don't quote me on that. Look at all these side quests that I have that I haven't finished. That's so bad. I think I was saying I really don't know what's going on with the story quest because I don't remember just because it's been so long between them that it's very hard to keep up with it. There needs to be some kind of star stable for dummies. I know there's your Wikipedia or I need to have somebody give me a crash course in the storyline because I just don't know what's going on. I'm glad you're here, Violet. I don't suppose I could bum a ride off you in Lucky Clover? Sure. Oh, Bo Vista. Oh my gosh, they're mentioning that. I don't know what she's holding on to, but let's just hope for the best. What I do know is that Fripp destroyed a keystone to protect the Soul Riders because, uh, because he didn't want Darko to get a hold of it. Wasn't that the situation? The power that it took to destroy the Keystone was so big that he became unconscious and he has been unconscious. Okay, I said that already. <laughs> I need to stop. Okay. Oh my gosh, the car. I should have like made her get pegged off. I feel like if we could replay the quest or something or get some kind of recap that it would be helpful because you can't just go months between quests and then remember. Unless you're being like, oh, I'm gonna refresh my memory on why this little furry is unconscious. Well, I found a donkey. Why am I on my starter horse if I want horse XP, right? In this scenario, the trees are runestones holding together the fabric of reality. The apples are explosives placed by Dark Core. Alex, you have to use your power to zap the explosive devices. And Anne, it's up to you to gather the explosives when they fall and bring them back to the bomb disposal unit. This video is totally going to get flagged by YouTube just for saying bombs, explosives. Picking up apples. This is a waste of time. I know this is difficult, Anne. You were the most gifted of us all to lose your soul horse like you did. It's beyond awful. But you're still the champion of the Sun Circle. We still have to work as a team. It's fine. Everything's fine. In fact, <sighs> why don't we make this interesting? Violet, we can race to pick up the zapples or bombs. Soul Riders, the Spymaster's network has discovered a crisis in the making. Dark Core has placed explosive devices on these rune stones. Failure is not an option. This is not a drill. Oh. Goodness. I think we're gonna be- oh wait, she's literally- she's doing better than I am. What the heck? We're very close. Oh! Oh my gosh, Linda, she's saying, I'm sorry, what's today's horse called? I can't keep up. Blondie, like in the old cowboy movies, and we were terrible. Anne says, wait, can we talk for a minute? Something feels off. The Soul Riders used to have a clear mission. We did our job, we saved the day, but now we hang out, we train, and we wait. What are we even waiting for? It feels pointless if we're constantly waiting for something to go up in flames and then scramble to put it out. It's as if there's no end in sight to our duties as soul riders. I agree with you, it's pointless. <laughs> I'm glad someone else around here does. Sometimes it feels like we're working towards an endless goal, fighting and training. And for what? Look at her. She has no idea what's in store for her. I'm glad she has the chance to be a filly before she has to take on the role of a guardian horse. My mom used to be a soul rider and walked away. Elizabeth stayed in this world and paid the ultimate price. If I leave, am I a coward? I'm gonna give her the autonomy to choose what she wants as a path in her life. And I'm gonna say she would not be a coward because if I were in Anne's situation, if I had been stuck in a pink crystal, just stuck there for however long she was stuck there, 
I would not want to be a soul writer either. Damn Fripp and damn Aideen for putting us in this impossible situation. I just want my best friend back. I get why she's feeling that way. If the other soul riders give her grief for feeling that way, I will be so upset. Oh, the phone is ringing. You just have to come right now. Something's happening with Fripp. We have to get back to Veildale. Let's ride out at once. Oh, oh shoot, shoot, they're leaving. Uh, Linda, what are you doing? She's riding over the fences. Blondie can't come into the secret stone circle, so I have to walk around the spiral on foot. It doesn't quite have the same magical feeling, to say the least. Isn't this supposed to be a secret? Oh, goodness. The tail is so big. It is so weird seeing Fripp like this. What happened? How is he? He's fading. He says he's fading and then he actually fades. Earth itself is rejecting him. Why is Linda in the background acting like the fake sign language interpreter? He is a body out of time and space, completely unmoored from reality and unreality alike. I have never been more confused. I'm confused. So there's nothing we can do to help him? It would take a miracle. There must be something in this room we're overlooking, something that could help us restore Fripp to health. So we're looking at stuff. So maybe we could light him on fire and he'll come to? No? Okay. Herbal tea. Fripp didn't drink this. It must have been Elizabeth's. We have some crystals. We can try to heal him with crystals. <laughs> this looks like it came from Beauty and the Beast. It's some kind of plant. Why am I clapping? <laughs> the five leaf clover. What did you find, Violet? A clover? What's so special about a clover? Pi the witch used clovers like that one to make horses for the dark riders, right? Yes, and according to Idris, this particular clover is doubtly potent. Thanks to Violet. What did I do? I can't even remember what happened. Do you think it could help Fripp, Evergrey? I couldn't say. It's more powerful witchcraft than I have mastered, but for your Vix witches, a talisman like that is capable of working powerful transformations. Transformations? Then I say it's worth a shot. But who would know how to use its power? Any ideas, Violet? Oh my gosh, don't say we're- No, 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 no. We're gonna have to bring Idris in. Come on. Mrs. Holdsworth? Yes. Such magnanimity, ma magnanim, magnanimity. <laughs> Violet and I will ask Mrs. Holdsworth to come. Oh shoot. Okay. I don't know how I'm having so much trouble maneuvering through Moorland. You're right on time, dearies. I've already packed. You knew we were coming? I've known you'd come to me for help for ages. If you knew you could help, then why didn't you come to us? We're almost out of time. We might even be too late. It's the other one I'd be worried about if I were you. Other one? Convincing him of the urgency won't be easy. He's not a fan of clocks. Oh no, not him. Who? Idris. Can you at least tell us why we need Idris? A miracle like this requires a very special circle. Bringing a witch into the secret stone circle is one thing, but Idris? Avalon's not going to be happy. He'll get over it. We have to go to the Why? Why do we have to have the circus involved? What I have against the circus is I just don't see how a circus belongs in a horse game. I don't understand. Back for an encore? We have a problem, and time is not on our side. If it's time you're looking for, I have none to spare. If the rodent's sick, then you should find someone else to help him. I run a circus, little doves. I'm not a veterinarian. Without Fripp to guide us, the earth is in danger. There are other worlds I can take my show to. You don't mean that. If you didn't care for Jorvik, why have you stayed here for such a long time? There you go again, talking about time. Have you not learned? I care not for humans' obsession with time. Come on, Violet. The lamest showman doesn't have any real power. He's all smoke and mirrors. We don't need him. Let's go. You're kidding. You're kidding. 
There has to be someone Idris cares about besides himself, right? Count us in. Uh... You'll help us save our friend. Oh, thank you. No, but Idris owes us one, and we don't exactly want to see Jorvik go up in flames either. We did it. We actually managed to convince Idris to help us, with a little help, of course. An unwelcome Pandorian troublemaker in this sacred space. Words do not even begin to express my horror. It was my idea to invite Idris here, not theirs, dearie, and for good reason. Idris here can help us save Brip. In simpler terms, the three of us can use our respective magic abilities to call to Fripp in the limbo he drifts in. Then, the power of the five-leaf clover can compel him back to his body. But wait, who are the three people holding these powers? Idris for one, but who else? That would be Idris, me, and Violet. Has anyone noticed the five-leaf clover is missing and Anne is gone? It's one thing for Anne to not be into being a soul rider right now, but it's another thing for her to interfere and mess things up for everybody else. We have to think of another way, any other way. I won't let this little guy go. They carried with them an object of great importance, <laughs> a box. The box contained Pandora's hope. Who could help us find this Pandoria's hope? I'm not asking Big Bonnie. They don't like pie, so we're gonna say Nick Stoneground. Yes, that's it! Nick Stoneground has explored Jorvik far and wide. He might be able to help us find this mysterious object. What brings you to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur? And who is this new friend you bring with you? How can you help us? Perhaps my refrigerator has something to do with it. Well, the fridge is running away. The sky is just black. Violet, can you take a step back? I'm trying to have a conversation with my fridge here. Race after the runaway refrigerator. When I woke up this morning, I didn't know that I was going to be logging on to Star Stable to chase after a runaway fridge, but I'm okay with it. But it's not just a fridge. There must be more to it if Violet thinks it can help save our friend. I was about to set out on one last, desperate trek when I noticed a sparkling pink glow beneath the ice. As I got closer, the pink glow dimmed and before me lay the fridge. I reached in and pulled out a perfectly wrapped sandwich, saving me from starvation. We've been inseparable ever since. Could my refrigerator really be connected to Pandoria? If it aids the Keepers of Aideen in any way, then it's all yours. Thank you, Nick Stoneground. You've helped us more than we ever could say. Where is everybody? I'm lost. Hello, where is everybody? You're back, Linda, you look freezing. Yes, we have the refrigerator. It's going to help us save Fripp. It's a fridge. Linda, Violet, are you feeling okay? The box that holds Pandora's hope becomes what it needs to be. I collected all the materials. Now we have to set up this circle. Would you look at that? It's been so long since I've gotten the magic circle up and running. It's time. Let's bring Fripp back to Jorvik. Fripp's not Pandorian? Fripp was a stranger in my world, just as he is a stranger on Jorvik. Just because he came to Earth from Pandoria does not mean he is Pandorian. I mean, she looks like she knows what she's doing. That is so beautiful. Mrs. Holdsworth is just the loveliest lady. This is so pretty. There is a portal opening. That portal appeared out of nowhere and took Lisa and Mrs. Holdsworth. We've got to do something. Idris, help us. I was not told to account for such unforeseen circumstances, my little doves. What are we going to do? Use your moon magic. Okay, yeah, let's... Exactly, we're soul riders. Everything we need lies within us. I'm gonna have to redo this. No, 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 oh. I failed the Into the Unknown quest. You did it, Violet! You closed the portal! We must get back to Jorvik quickly. This plane is highly unstable. A moment longer could leave us trapped here for eternity. 
We're back on Jorvik. I don't know how, but we did it. Earth, I am back on Jorvik. Yes, I am back, though I was never really gone. Every step of the way, I was with you all. My goodness, you really did it. Fripp is alive and well. Where have Alex and Anne gotten to? Well, about that. Can you tell me where Anne, Alex, Concord, and Tin Can are? Isn't Alex right here? Anne and Concord have left. The five-leaf clover is missing. A clover with the power to work miracles. I hope that Alex finds her in time before something irreversible happens. But the prophecy hasn't called for the Soul Rider's separation. We need them together now more than ever. This could spell disaster for how things will unfold. Is there anything you can warn us of? Anything to prepare for a fight against the darkness? Yes. I have greater clarity of what is to come. Dangers lie ahead for us. Idris told us you aren't Pandorian. He said you were a stranger there just as you were on Yorvik. Yes, it is true. I do not originate from Pandoria. I am a cosmic being, from a land beyond the concept of time and space. What now, Fripp? How do we prepare for whatever comes next? Everyone will have their own part to play in the storm that is to come. I won't keep all of you any longer. When the time is right, we shall meet again. I got Pandorian treasures. There's usually a to be continued that comes on the screen with a cat and it's not there. That's awkward. I just run out then. I'm like, oh, we're done. That, that was it. So this is the prize for the quest. It is a, a book and a map looking thing and crystals. It looks like this is the end of the quest for now. I'm guessing in the next quest, we're going to help Anne get through her struggles with being a soul rider and maybe try to reunite everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.